one creative idea. The guy that founded Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, he founded Facebook out of creativity. What do you call this um, taxi? Uber. The guy that founded Uber, I read about the story. He was in Paris, France, and he needed to call a taxi. And they got him a taxi, and he saw that the taxi was so dirty. He could not use the taxi. Then he sat down, and he began to think, what do I need to do to solve this problem? And that was how he created an app called Uber. They don't have taxis, but yet they are making money. Am I communicating now? You know what? If you are not creative, the world will leave you behind. Creative people think where the world is going towards and they move towards that direction. Are you following me now? If you like, keep sending your account number, your account number to people to give you money. They will only do or assist you to the level which they can. And then they will stop. But if you think, how can I be creative in this period of time? We are at the seminar, and one of the participants, after I, talk, I, I spoke the first day, the second day she came and brought some face mask and said, while she was coming or so, someone requested for the face mask. She sews as a fashion designer. And she said, she didn't take it serious. But after the training of the first day, she went home and made the face mask ready. And they were very colorful and beautiful face mask. And I asked her, how much are the face mask? She said, one is 400 nera. Amen. I understand a little of fashion designing. Are you getting me now? Then I look at her and say, okay, let's talk. This cloth, this material you use to make this face mask, a yard of it, how much? And they told me. How many with a yard produce? They say a yard will produce about 40 or so. So when you, and I say, okay, when you times 40, eh, times 400, you see how much? Now, the, the, the cost of making that face mask is not up to 5% eh, of that face mask. Of selling it. Creativity. Creativity is doing normal things in a different way. Creativity is thinking outside the bus. This is not the time to sit in television and be watching television. Amen. How do I get creative? How do I unlock my creativity powers? Number one, if you must be creative, you must be curious. You need curiosity to be creative. In Exodus chapter 3, from verse 1 to 3, Moses saw the bush that was burning. He said, I will now turn. He said, now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to uh, Oreb, verse 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush and looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire and was not consumed. Verse 3. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight Why the bush is burning or why the bush is not burnt. Amen. If you must be creative, you must be curious. Moses saw the fire burning on the bush, but the bush was not consumed. Do you know if it was some of us that sees that kind of thing, we will take off. So, boy, see what I see. Oh, my eye don't see my ear to do. Amen. Then even some people, maybe in Nigeria, in the western part of Nigeria, like the Yorubas, they will need and worship it. Say, Ogun, Ogun, God of fire, don't come. Amen. If it's the Igbo, they say Amadi or her. They turn into a shrine automatically. But Moses said, I will turn and see. Creative people are curious people. They ask questions. They ask questions. 
Learn to investigate and ask questions. Consistently ask meaningful questions now. Why is the lockdown? I heard the man of God speaking yesterday and he said something that touched me. He said, they said they are still studying the virus. They, are, they don't understand, that is the medical word, that they are here to understand the virus and automatically they have come up with the vaccine. Is that not contradiction? Many of us don't know. Ask question. When you come to the church, why is this pulpit a glass pulpit? Why is it not a wooden pulpit? If I can produce a wooden pulpit and I design it well, I think they will like it. Creative people are curious people. Number two, to unlock your creativity, be flexible. Be flexible. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19 to 20. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19 to 20. Look at what Paul said. He said, for though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant to all, that I might what? Gain some. 20 please. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as unto the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. You must be flexible if you must be creative. This means trying new approach to things. Trying new approach to doing regular things. You need to be flexible now to be able to relate with people. You know, there are people suffering right now in this, in this lockdown. The people suffering the most, I will tell you, they are the people who are very rigid. They don't know how to flow. Eh? They don't know how to flow. But those who know how to flow, they are, they are, they are enjoying themselves. So you'll get the own grow flexibility. Okay, you know, say we'll be your boy now. This lockdown just will lost. Maybe you send them something. Flexibility. But those who are pompous in poverty, they are suffering now. Trust me. You know why? Nobody to meet. Nobody to send account. It's not their calling. It's not their, their Facebooking people. If you see my Facebook, they send people I don't even know that they are my friends on Facebook. When I post, they will not comment. They will not like they will not share. So I'm able to attack me. When I, when I post something that they want to attack, that is when they will comment. Now, now I become father. Papa, daddy, on inbox. On inbox, I'm father. I'm papa. But on the comment, sir, oh, they just comment. I have so many sons now because of lockdown. Amen. Be flexible. If you must be creative, learn your approach. See, learn to mix your food. Are you getting me now? You know now, if you are not flexible, you go suffer. You need to. <laughs> you need to learn. <laughs> In fact, me have learned one. You need to learn how to mix the food. Beans and gari, beans and yam. Beans and plantain. Are you getting me now? Beans and corn. You need to be flexible. Gary and granite. Gary and honey. Eh? You can you can turn fruit to food. I was I was <laughs> talking to someone medically yes uh, during the, the training. I said. You can turn food to fruit. If you want to know, see me privately, I will tell you. If they give you cucumber, uh, avocado, pear, and popo, blend them together, or smoothie them, you will see solid. You can eat it three times a day, and you are bouncing. So if there is a popo tree behind your house, and you have cucumber, food is ready. Praise God. You must be flexible. Yam, you can you have to fry it to cook it. 
to roast it, to grill it. You can use your pot to grill your yam. So, so people, they don't know. They don't know flexibility. You prepare. So if, if it's only yam, you are going to eat for one week. So you must learn how to navigate. Eh? You must be flexible. So if, if you must be creative, you must be flexible. Don't say me. No, it's only like this. If it's not like this, I'm not the drum. So some people say, if I don't see egg, I cannot eat yam. Welcome. I cannot eat chick. I cannot eat rice without chicken. I can't eat without. Though, me, I learned how to eat without long ago. I can. If I enjoy without, if I, if you give me meat, you are even you are, you make me angry sometimes. So I was serving me food. He gave me fried yam and whatever, and he added chicken to it. I said to do what? He said, hey, you know, as elder now, say which elder? I said, take this chicken now. You keep it for afternoon. This fried yam is for lunch. This chicken and gari is for dinner. If I eat everything together now, which one will they eat again? You see flexibility. But you... <laughs> but you, you eat everything finished. Eh? You let... You be flexible. You take one bonga. Cook your love. Scatter and put for inside. To, <laughs> to your tent, O Israel. Anywhere you reach, that is the person's portion. One bonga. Let me teach you because some of you think that we fall from the sky. Eh? You have stew that has been there for some time. Convert it. The stew will not be enough for five people to eat. Turn the rice to jollof rice. Put the stew. Put enough water. Then add small oil to it. Anoint it afresh. Be flexible. Number three, creative people are sensitive to problems and trouble. Let me tell you something. Problems are part of life. I posted something to which, so which they go on Facebook. I said, the only way to come out of trouble is to get into trouble. Don't run from trouble. Don't run from trouble. You need trouble in your life. You need problem. You know what he said? It's a 46 verse 1. He said, God is our present help. In what? In trouble. That means if you don't enter trouble, you will not see the help. You are, see, our problem, not our problem, nobody calls you. No foundation is working against you. Your problem is that you are running away from trouble. You don't want trouble. And trouble are good. Problems are the price for progress. Be sensitive to problems. Be sensitive to trouble. Am I communicating here? be sensitive. If there are no challenges, there will be no opportunities. See, understand that to succeed in life is a battle, not war. Be ready to fight it. Eh? You produce first mass, for example. You are tailor. You, cut, you, you, you get one cloth from somewhere, one cutting. You cut it and all and produce face mask. And people are not buying. If they don't buy from this street, take it to another street. If they are not coming to meet you at all, you go and meet them outside. Eh? Stand where they can see you. To succeed in life is a battle. I was coming to church this morning. My, they, they said my tire is flying. And I told, I said, bring your, come, bring your car, let's go. It's too small. What kind of small? Even if it's okay, then let me get to church. What concern me? See, success is a battle. You must fight it. You are too relaxed. You are too gentle. You are brought to success. We never make you succeed. Never. You wake up in the morning. You are holding your phone on Facebook and, and WhatsApp. That will not produce money. Listen, I, I was sharing with one of the young men in church. I said, you see me? Let me tell you a little bit of my life. When I close from church, at home, I continue office hour. I have an office. I have a replica of this office that we have in church. I have it at home. When I get home, I still sit down. I am studying. See, I can't suffer. Because you know why? I put myself under pressure to succeed. 
Amen. Stop running away from troubles. Learn to produce and set things that people need. Be sensitive to the problems of people around you. The prevalent problem of people. Am I communicating now? During the, during the conference, I, I learned something. One of our precious sisters here told us, he said there is a woman somewhere who sells all manner of food stuff in Port Harcourt. And she lives in one of the biggest states. So she has a WhatsApp group. She has a Facebook page. She has some manner of things. She can tell you, um, five people, let's share one cow. She will put the picture of the cow. People will be calling her. And after sharing, they will deliver it to your house, to your doorstep. As long as you pay your money. They say she said she, she, she shares tomatoes. Share onions. Let's share one bag of onions. Let's share beans. Let's share rice. And when they finish in this lockdown, they will bring it to your house. Where you are, they will come and give you. Why some of us, you know what we're doing in this lockdown? We sit down, we are looking for people who are not looking for you. Sit down, you don't hear. Now what could happen with that? So now that one not going happen, no. And you do that for seven hours. Do you know that Facebook can take your time? Somebody say, I hear. Somebody say, I hear. It is better to fail in doing something than to excel in doing nothing. 